why are you looking so suave? You might be asking right now. You might be asking yourself. Um, going to the opera. Going to see Le Eliezer D'Amour with Sarah. And uh, we're dressing to the nines for the occasion, so... Classy. This is like by far the classiest thing I've ever done on Valentine's Day. Aw, oh, they're so pretty too. The ticks? Yeah. Aww. Oh. Yeah, cool drain. Yeah. Oh, these people got a bus. Have you seen this? These people like park on the street. Yeah. I think they live in it. Yeah, but it's kind of psychedelic. Change. We should probably know these people, I guess. Yeah. Somehow. Lincoln Center, Jazz at Lincoln Center. Oh, we're at Columbus Circle, huh? Oh shit, there's the goddamn... Trying to figure out where to have okay. the one hitter. So I brought a metal one hitter, and they're wanding people. I was I was unsure if they were gonna have a metal detector or not, you know. But it, it didn't really look like it was like they were just kind of wanding like your pockets, but like I don't know. It's my last night in the house. It's after 2 a.m. And uh, I just.
just been really uh, not wanting to pack things up. I just spent all day. My my both of my iPod touches are dead, and they won't charge. So I've been having this sort of existential crisis about how am I going to record anything and like. This is such, you know, this is a big part of the storyline, maybe, of my life. And, uh, and then without ways to record, except, you know, the most primitive. Just looking forward to not being so constricted. And, uh, you know, even though this room was an opportunity in a lot of ways, it's also very limiting a lot of ways and uh, it'll be nice to see what moving out kind of frees up for me to be able to do you know but I'm just kind of stewing in it right now I'm kind of deep in the uh, sentimental pre flashback like today I played a bunch of the old songs the old guitar and uh, I didn't miss it and uh, I'll be happy to move on it's getting pretty late so uh, tomorrow's the beginning of the end of me here So this is my last real proper day in the house with all my stuff kind of in place. Probably start packing up today, starting with the closet and the books. Don't know what I'm going to do with the chair. There's a lot of energy probably invested in the chair that uh, could be good, could be bad to bring with. Not bad, but you know.
to show garbage time. I, you know what I'm saying? You know what garbage time is? His show. Well, his show, but it's also, um, it's a sports term. The two CD set by Nurse with Wound, the swing and reflective, very few people know. 
Love is nice, but what is the action? We must help each other. Work is a kind of help. In that sense, I look on it as charity. But I don't want to do charity for Victoria's Secret or limited brands. I want to do charity for you. I want to do a reading at Madison Square Garden. It could happen. Why not poetry for 30000 Set my intention. Take that guy's potted palm. And blam, it's ours. Riding my way down 7th Ave. Cops think I'm taking notes. Look to my left. There's that station they've got that looks like a castle. Brandon Lopez posts a status about judging composed music as inherently superior to improvised music is racist. Thank you for saying that. Mozart worked for an Austrian king. Those structures imperial, thin fingers of twigs. Walk by in twos, meaning FIT blocks administered on the right. Used to eat in this Chipotle, graced this chase. Now they're canceling my freedom card due to extended non-use. That's a win. Turned out meeting house. Can't do justice to these high ridges down the cut. Girl with yoga pad sling shows attitude to yellow cab. Slid an email for my security deposit hoping it will go answered nicely with immediate money. Another pin dies. Another pin takes its place. Could go back to papyrus half a block in the recent past. Look to discover in this pit stop, delivery silently noticed. It'll take your head off in the green lane. Busker playing noise trumpet standing on his head. That's what it feels like in the gig economy. Fat Jay slaps the doorway. Mystical Chelsea held in veiled scaffold. Skimming by to take a little of that magic back from the developers. Skyler's balconies holy. John around the corner, El Quixote out for lunch. Donut plant installed in the armpit. Too many plaques if you ask me, and the angels moved on when the money did come. Read Michael Lawley's long weekend poem about this part of town, Herald Square, Chelsea. Doing it on the spot, filter clean guys napping in the van. Hotel Chelsea print out taped on a blue plastic makeshift interest while they're doing work. Can't see the front from the front, so view it in fine clarity of blueprint rendering posted to the hollow maintenance wall. 222-1883. Fluorescence in the rooms. Things are changing bigger than they've changed in some time. Willie Phoenix, when he came here on tour in the 70s, slept in the van because it was so rough inside. This is around when Sid stabbed Nancy. Said there were holes in the walls. The sludge was our Chelsea, and I moved out too. Lost my train of thought. I like the buildings so old they're smiling with weight in the middle. Edwin Denby's loft was also near here. Why he made his sonnets that way, tall and slim as a water glass. High ghost of a trace of an old ad painted for Griffin Shears, eaten like tobacco by elements of brown brick. Shit meant to check out the galleries. Maybe Stell should. Did this instead. There's the Reuben, which I've barely heard of. Here comes a fire truck, honking like a clown on PCP. I'm like a lonely tower, Guy says into his wife's car as he's walking the dog. Carried two things today, which I thought would have been poetic if I got hit by a car while doing so. Bouquet of purple flowers for the Corals' hospitality on the way back from Sprout, and Sarah's sacks to drop it off at JL Woodwinds for repair on 36th Street, which is how this whole thing started to begin with. Manhattan is full of students, at least this part, SVA, New School, NYU Parsons who came here for a New York experience which no longer exists, though they make their own, which is just as good, and will be told about in future oral biographies of the time. Best of spring at Housing Works, so I peek in. Sarah texts and calls which I miss from her post-colonic glow. Torn page. Should I double back to Castelli? A gallery's like a prediction of a museum, only free but not as free as these streets. Wow, that doorway's a masterpiece. 
and criminalized scribble. But it's all fitness and home furnishings now. Google Zuggerot and Milk, too close for comfort. Dream Hotel remains one for me. Interviewed there for bartender. No experience, but Adam Levine lookalike manager gave me some polite tips about how to break into nightlife. On a long walk down the High Line, down into Chelsea, Daniel showed me the apartment building where John Ashbery lived and told the story of his afternoon with the man himself. I think it was somewhere near here. This mixture of inauthentic brick throwback mock pre-war and aqua blue glass with quaint short older style 19th century maritime buildings with wood signage and affected French awning looks familiar. Said he had books and stacks all over the table, which he would thumb through in delight, even at his steep age and all those years of doing it at the top. Said David Kermani was moving a Jane Freilicker over the couch, and he offered to help, but was understandably declined. Had slipped Ashbury a copy of his long poem, Regular Riot, which at the end of their one afternoon, an afternoon which you can build a career on, which puts you in the lineage rather than a bastard on a bench looking for the pieces of what's gone and was never meant to have. John told him that he had really enjoyed the piece, so he's got that to fuel him for the rest of his life, and it's well deserved. He is a fine poet of profound intelligence and subdued invention in his lines, and I'll bet the view of the river is great up there. Stop into a nap cafe, take notes on their hammock and wall of vegetation, naive wood gate wound with Christmas lights like thorns. Oh, that's torn page. Thought it was delinquent brownstone on 7th. Homemade sign and ring above looks a lot like the sluge. Empire diner round the corner, Don Giovanni, Barracuda. Man, I've had a lot of job interviews around here. None of them hired. Awning of Flowers, London Terrace, Sontag and Leibowitz, Baldwin lives there, Mom's Vanity Fair subscription paid off. Carved walnut halves like these portraits in the low downstairs, Carol Freeman. Alex Katz cutouts, wow, I wanted to see this on purpose, and I'm here totally on intuition. Oh, the miracle of it all, and how it all means. Now I think I'll look at it. He cuts a frame, what isn't there. The colors show from both sides, so does the back. Are these the rich women of Hampton's beaches? Only two to look at. Wonder if there's more. In any case, that made my day. Next place, they've got an actual Mr. Brainwash. Some Banksy's, some Warhol flowers and dollars. Powdered blue cardboard, false flags and Kool-Aid. Play icon in upper left sky, indicating gun draw action recently initiated. Not unsympathetic portraits of the dotard, so I'm out. Almost says poet in orange spray paint on the green work wall. Metro Pictures is showing a movie unsurprisingly, so I bounce. Traffic lights and lockers at the next, along with blips. It's all arranged for something to see and a girl's almost finished a novel like a guard in the doorway. Skin toast with down fuzz, simple declarations on its skin and grass tones. Look like arms mixed with children's hills. I love these scoops of pink. Crayon texture of the paint. Not to see, but to instantly comment upon. All is source. I take so to give back. See Atari in this square or party-colored sprinkles. One thing I learned at the Sunday bar is how to make a choo-choo of red licorice go round a mountain of soft serve and crumbled Oreos. Thank you sincerely for letting me stock up on your beauteous emulations. Your displayed collection of lucky trinkets, kind of like these ratified scribbles, confront me with their slur lamp. When junk is cordoned as peace, the gallery sings its waiting lack. Belly flap accurately lumpy over the waistband. Gagosian closes their shutter down in my face, and my back hurts from walking. So I guess it's time to call it a day. 
It's Thurs opening night. Thought they were supposed to be open late. Chelsea Art Tower and lots of new upscale residences with old world charm. Happen upon Printed Matter, Inc., where I've never been but have heard of. Wow, this place is like the greatest place ever. The removal of literature. Or what if my name was Kevin Arnold? Going down to Elmo Town. The Joyce Leo House. Chelsea once again in its gray shroud. Look like it's got a fly net over it. Or beekeeper's mask. Dallas Barbecue and I'm down to the tubes again. On my way to La Lupe for dinner with Sarah.